Hey, everybody. I'm not great, and God damn it, son of a bitch. Ah, fuck. Uh, hang on one second. We're going to transition away. Yeah, because I um I changed my my output resolution. <laughs> Everything is fucked. Ah, uh, damn it. There we go. There we are. Okay. I'll lock that. See, that's what the graphic is supposed to look like. It's still not great, but at least it's the right size. And I already resized this, so... There's that. And I have to apologize in advance. I am going to be eating during this recording. Uh, let's see. Oh, 23, 35, 23, 34. Okay. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. I mean, I'm normally, like, you know, knocking back gummy skittles and shit during this thing, but just, oh, fuck. To the encampment. So we learned last time that, um, what's a, a nice way to put this? Um, we're not good enough. <laughs> not right now. So we need to do a little bit of work. Um, do I have? I have 78. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is there anybody that can be upgraded? Nope. Okay. What will it be today? Let's see. Timber, fiber, uh, well, this is level 13, and the fight that we're repairing for is level 14, so this should be a good place to start. We'll take back the boat. Uh, I say as I stuff my face full of pizza and cheesy bread. Mm hmm. Oh, damn, 12? No shit. Hmm. Who do I need in that battle? I really don't want to use Yen's. Like, a lot of Yen's stuff requires... <laughs> it relies a lot on luck. I want to do... Uh... Actually, yeah, we'll just do our our top people. Very easy. I won't Ready consider it. Please, shout. but of course. Understood. I got this. Cool. This is a really good um like um leveling party, I guess. All right. Uh, capture the boat. Why do I feel like this is gonna be more difficult than I think it's going to be? <laughs> like it doesn't seem like it's gonna be that fucking difficult. Like, yeah, there's a lot of these fuckers. And they've got, what, a caster here. They've got a healer there. <laughs> I feel like there's going to be some reinforcements. You know what? I like it. Let's, uh, let's roll with it. View this stage's overview before the battle. Yes. The yellow panels indicate the area you must attempt to occupy. Defeat all enemies in the target area and take back the ship. So casters and range people are going to be really handy here. Miss the battle? Yeah. Get off my boat. Let us pry out their weakness. A brief respite. I can do it. <laughs> I will end this.
You won't catch me. This battle is ours. You'll get no mercy from us. You don't get eyes. Leave everything to me. Defeat is not an option. Yeah, we'll do that one. Just regular attack. This episode, by the way, Over is here. officially, unofficially, brought to you by Marco's Pizza. Because that's what I'm eating. And it's delicious. It's also the only pizza in my neighborhood. Hey, hey get the fuck away from her. Allow me. That doesn't feel like it will give me and my family food poisoning. There we go. I saw three that plane is dead. We have tried several nearby pizza places. And um every single one of them over time has cool basically like prevail. devolved into making us physically ill. Do haste on Frederica. Go quick. Oh, I take that back. There is a Little Caesars nearby that will not make us physically ill. But Little Caesars Pizza is. Come at me! It is worth exactly what you pay for it. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, we'll do that guy. There, there's a reason that they're they're five dollar hot and ready, you know, because it's not. I fight for peace. Boom. With the power. Yeah, they're worth me. they're worth every penny of that five dollars, and they are are probably not worth a whole lot more. Time for some research. All right, he's going to die. God, My time damn is it, now. I'm a moron. Wow. Let's see. Summon a rainstorm for five turns. Yeah. The heavens cry. I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> just intentionally whiffed on an ice spell. God, I'm, I'm thinking too much about pizza and not eating enough of it. You gonna miss? Yeah, you are. Jackass. I see a path to victory. Do you now, Benedict? Oh, wait. Boop. Your defense is weak. Yeah, you coward. Your orders. Let's try this again. Into the shadows. So yeah, there is Little Caesars. That's that's what I'm gonna be talking about. Everybody is just fucking pizza. I'm not even sorry. Pizza's Tasty, awesome. Aren't we? Um. But yeah, there is Little Caesars, which you know, there's crazy bread, and then there's actual Little Caesars pizza. And you know, fine. But Domino's, like the the first thing we tried whenever we moved here back in 2019 was um, Pizza Hut. And Pizza Hut was shit. Like, the, the people who work at this Pizza Hut, they don't give a single fuck about the quality of their, their pies. I'm old, not a pushover. <laughs> Same. <laughs> old but not a pushover? Same. 
for the honor of House Wolfort. All right, let's go ahead and just pick up this treasure, and we'll do a hawk dive. Now I end this. So it was shit from the word go, right? And then there's Dominoes, which is also nearby, and they were good for a while. Like they were good for close to a year. Hey, stop it! Ow, ow, ow. Let the show begin. There we go. Die, fucker. Bye -bye. I will end this. Hmm. I'll just can I I can boop him. <laughs> Oops. Free experience. No need to panic. All right, there we go. Sorry, Plum just gave me Apple. And, um... That's awesome. Time to end this. <laughs> it's also kind of awesome that the Apple is a leftover from the, uh, the newest member of our household, which is an orphaned, nearly adolescent squirrel. Knowledge oh, no. is strength. Nice. So, just barely pre-adolescent squirrel. Where was I? I don't know. Where were you? Can you move any further forward? Yeah, you can. But... Uh, let's see. You now what? Somebody else can take on the responsibility of that shit. Come on. But yeah, so Domino's was good for about a year. And then eventually, like, same thing started happening. And... True power. Now, just over time, it's just like, God, every time we, we order pizza, we feel sick. Away with you! Ba -ba 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 -ba. Turn around. I don't want to see your I'll ugly take face. You on. Thank you, Arador. Push on through. And we tried some of the smaller pizzerias, and they weren't terrible, I shall try my level but best. they were way too expensive for what they were for starters. Full work. Let's pop it on. Use Stay the drop That certainly helps. Like, just mediocre, like... Take the grease out of <gasps> New York street pizza, and... That's what you would get. Was was this absolute shit? Suffer. Ah, uh -huh, you're poison. Right? Nope. Okay. All right. Where were we? All right, Blum, just let me know that our our rescue squirrel passed away sometime during the day. God, that took a fucking turn. Didn't see that coming. This might sting some. Oh, sorry about that. That was a a really abrupt 180 on the whole squirrel story. Um, damn. Oh well. Anyways. Long story short, the For the honor of House Wolfort. The only pizza place that we have found that we can actually, you know, eat the food and not feel like death you is Marco's Pizzeria. So that is why I say that this episode is brought to you by Marco's Pizzeria. Damn, that squirrel was cool. But it had a hard time. Like its mom passed away during a storm recently and it was just kind of wandering around and 
We rescued her. We gave her a, a good comfy spot, but she just couldn't do it. I fight for peace. Anywho. Let's burn some motherfuckers. For a better world. Mm -hmm. Cool heads shall prevail. Make the most of this. This is wonderful. No need to panic. There we go. It's nothing personal. Oh, damn it. I'll be fine. Here we go. We're done here. My stratagem is superior. And that guy was dodgy as hell. Very well. Yes, now we wait. Bro. There is no mercy on the battlefield. Hmm. Let us steal our defenses. Bye. I'll keep on that. Yeah, you better, Eridor. Here we go, now they're coming after us. Didn't see that coming. Sure, why not? No slack at all. Feel better now. Time to take flight. No, it's time to eat eat. Arr. There we go. Let me see where I'm going. There we go. Uh, yeah, you can try, dude. Oh, <laughs> more of the decoy shit. Okay. Defeat is not an option. There's absolutely no point to doing that. Okay. Nope. Stop it. Another healer. Let me show you what I've learned. Ah, uh, we'll end the turn. The heavens judge you. And so do I. Oh, I could fuck. Oh, I'd do all that just to fuck that one guy up, but... Damned if it's not worth it. Tremble in fear. I shall do what I can. Make the most of this. I feel as light as a feather. Wouldn't mind a potion. Okay, we'll give you one. Mm. Looks like I'm up. I think we're time to work. Maybe too good at this particular mission so far. 
You won't catch me. Oh no, you got caught pretty thoroughly last time. Dude just landed right in front of you and blew your cover. Come on, everybody. I see a path to victory. I have your back. That'll do. Time to take flight. You'll get no mercy from us. Victory is ours. Leave everything to me. I'll heal the decoy. No slag at all. Decoy is doing its job, the man. <laughs> not an option. I'll do a delaying strike. I'll make this quick. That hit the mark. yourself open mm. I will end this with the powers in me Good luck with that, dude. Allow me. Behold true power. for this cool heads shall prevail nobody has any wounds hmm. all right we'll do haste on Gila victory goes to the quick So, it falls to me. There we go. Uh, let us pry out their weakness. This is our chance. That'll do! There we go. Time to take flight. Not another you stay step. put. Now it's my turn. <laughs> Nobody has. Whatever. We're here for experience. No slag at all. And spoils. And experience. My thanks. Where shall we strike? How about right in front of the blind guy? Oh, there we go. Now I am. Saranoa kill stealing everybody.
wonder if the decoy can gather loot. Let's find out. Oh no. Still unclear. This is the end. Oh nice. I never did get to to use all that rain though. But we've got quality timber, quality fiber. Four iron, five fiber. That ain't bad. Obvious stranger. All right, let's see. Trade post. Extra quietus point. Yeah. Now let's see if anybody can do anything. Anybody eligible for an upgrade upgrade? Don't think so. All right, so. Big boy. All the iron. Oh, there we go. Crystal. Okay, yeah, we don't have any of that fancy shit. So, big boy, let's see. HP by 10. Accuracy. Increases damage dealt to enemies inflicted with status ailments. Hmm. Eh. Not terribly interested in that. I can make a rainstorm, so I should get that. And do that. And Yulio will raise your physical defense as well. Everybody else out? Yeah. Cool. All right, let's call that a thing. I think we're ready to try this fight again. Oh, motherfuck, we have two character stories. <laughs> Shit. Uh, Hewitt and Archibald. All right, uh, you at Narador, here we go. This is a good chance for me to grab a bite. A whole day of hunting, and this is all I have to show for it. Wanted to give Lord Sarah Noah something meaty for once. A deer is no easy prey. You are a skilled hunter. One deer to your three boar? It's plain who the better of us is. I don't reckon you let a single one escape. Could be hunting is your true calling. Perhaps. Before I was knighted, I was keeper of the hawk's roost. And besides, I come from a long line of hunters. She also likes to hunt people. That's so. And what drove you to fight men for a living? She wanted to hunt the most dangerous prey. Lenbrook put out a call for hawk riders, that they might challenge S. Frost's aerial superiority. I answered that call. My training was the hardest thing I've ever had to do, but I won a position in the Kingsguard, where I petitioned to serve Prince Roland personally. Seeing you in action, I'm sure you could have made a fine commander, yet you stuck by the Prince's side. Yeah, what the hell? Yes, I did. Oh, here we go. I'm about to say, like, what, you're just gonna leave it at that? You can't do that shit. Flugi has yet to return. I hope he isn't in danger. 
What's this then? A traveler out here all alone, huh? And in sore need of protection by my reckoning. Hand over your coin purse and maybe we can reach an arrangement. Mm. Bandits? Here? How could I be so careless? I'd advise against running. Ain't nowhere for you to go. Hmm. Either she kills the guy, or she leaves on a bird, or the bird kills the guy. I'm gonna say the bird kills the guy. Enough. Oh, never mind. Uh. Option four. Surprise, Roland. Are you hurt? I'm fine, thanks to you. Had you not showed up when you did, I could have ended up dead. You have my gratitude. Is that your hawk? It guided me here. Hmm. I was in the middle of a hunt, but your bird cried out as if calling to me. Thank heavens I did not lose that arrow. I've never known hawks could be so wise. His name is Flugi, and he's more than my hawk. He's my closest companion. And he lets me ride him. The bandits are growing more bold by the day. It is best you returned home. Wait! I have scarce little to give in the way of coin. But still, there must be something I can do to repay you. A lifetime of servitude? Nothing of it. It is the royal family's duty to protect our subjects. Burr? The royal... Good heavens! You're Prince Roland! Forgive me, your highness. There's no need for all that stuffy formality. May we meet again soon. Yes, your highness. <laughs> that was my first meeting with the prince. He saved my life. And for that, I shall be forever in his debt. I could settle for no less than the king's guard. That's fair. That explains a lot, too. There we go. Archer bald. Except he's not bald. I guess I'd just use his actual name. Oh, hey, Anna. Hmm. Master Archibald, is there something on your mind? Ah. Oh, shit. God has be good. I must be getting on in years for you to be able to sneak up on me like that. She's a spy. And an assassin. It's her job. What troubles you? I was only reminiscing. Indeed, days like these tend to blow my mind back a couple of decades or more. <laughs> reminiscing about what? The past. Duh. That's not fair. I apologize. The Salt Iron War. Hard to believe it's been 30 whole years. But I was right. Some days I almost forget my time as one of the saintly seven. What the fuck? I defended the Citadel of Sand through the conflict. I was there when Esfrost attacked. I totally forgot about that. Holy shit. No, we didn't know that. Damn. All right, cool. Or did we know that? I want to say we knew that. A number of Roselin prisoners who tried to escape the source were there too. Including Our Lady Frederica's dear mother. Oh shit. What's this? 
She stayed behind all by herself to help the countless numbers of her fellow Roselle flee. That's how she was captured. But I knew we couldn't hold the Citadel. So I helped her and her friends escape in secret before the enemy attacked. The wind blew just as hard that night as it's blowing now. I'll never forget watching the Roselle caked all over in mud as they slipped away into the dark. Why haven't you tried to speak to Frederica about this? So you didn't want innocents to get caught up in the coming battle? It never settled right with me. The way the goddess's teachings permitted abuse of the Roselle for the supposed sins of their past. Poor shit. A person's life isn't worth more or less just because of the conditions of their birth. More than anything, I was moved by the selfless acts of Lady Frederica's mother. She reminded me of what I had once aspired to be. She was able to do what I never could. Risk her life to save her friends. I couldn't let someone like that die. Not on my watch. Yeah, we gotta free the Roselle. It wasn't long until the other saintly seven discovered what I'd done. They branded me a traitor, stripped me of my title, and sentenced me to death. Of course I slipped out of their clutches before <laughs> they could have my head. <laughs> I like you, Archibald. I wandered for a while before taking up life as a merchant under the King of Glenbrook's patronage. I never knew you and Lady Frederica's mother shared such a past. Well, it is in the past. Anyway, let us return. This cold night wind is making my old bones ache something fierce. I'm not even that old, but same, Archibald. Same. Then again, I do work in industrial... Fuck! In the halls of Heisen's Ministry of Medicine, a young apothecary... Ooh. Worries for the fate of her patients. New character. What the shit? This is a lot of... Ugh. It's an emergency. We have two patients. Both with extraordinary fevers. The Roselin is unresponsive. Well, I can't tend to both unless you can give me two more pairs of arms. Let me help. I've just completed my training and I'll do whatever it takes to save them. Are there no real doctors left? Uh, fine, come. We're losing precious time. I like this girl. Leave the Rosalyn. We must prioritize the Believer. As you wish. Fuck you. But the Rosalyn will die unless we do something. Do they not teach the order of things in school these days? So what if they do? What does the order of things have to do with saving lives? Not all lives are weighted the same. You would do well to remember that. Quickly, Medina, these people are dying as we bicker. <sighs> Here we go. Medina Aliam. Or Aliam? Whatever. A young woman whose only desire is to help others. She studies diligently at the Ministry of Medicine every day that she may aid the sick and injured who enter its halls. She needs to find her way over to us. Oh, maybe she will. I couldn't save him. Orders or not, I was the one following them. It's all my fault. Where are you going? Medina! I beg your pardon, Lord Saranoa. But a doctor from the Ministry requests an audience with... Send her in. My name is Medina. 
I've heard much about your house and simply had to see it for myself. What insolence is this? Stand down. Pray tell, what brings you before me? It is said House Wolfert possesses a relic known as the Scales of Conviction. Is this true? It is. We turn to the Scales for guidance in times of trouble. Then, I wonder if they might guide me forward as well. Sure. I... I had a crisis of confidence. A man was counting on me to save his life, and I let him die. I cannot let this happen again. I wish to save all the lives I can, regardless of country or creed. Pray grant me the chance to consult the scales, that I might walk the righteous path. That's not how that works, but... The scales are merely a tool to an end. They are not a magical window into the future. When decisions must be made, all in this house have a say. We choose as best we're able, and strive to ensure we chose wisely. Damn. I mean, you strive not to regret your decision. That is all one can do. Forgive me if this is not the answer you sought. Then, would House Wolford accept my aid if I offered it, my lord? Yep. If you oh, would shit. serve as a physician, that would be a boon. For we fear the war is far from over. I would be honored, my lord. What the fuck? I would see what I could do to rewrite the order of things. And let us walk the path together. I am at your service, my lord. I accidentally hit the uh, the autoplay button. Yay, Medina. See, expert in healing items increases the potency and can use items twice in the same turn. Damn, that's not bad. I like it. All right, let's see if we unlocked any more bullshit that we have to trudge through. No, okay, good. Go to the encampment. Hit. The right button. Let's see, there she is. Lord Saranoa! I can supply your forces with any medicines they may need. Just say the word and it shall be yours. Your soldiers will know no pain. Blah de blah de blah. See if we can level up our chemist in any way, shape, or form. Where is she? There she is. I need a silver, okay. But no, I cannot. Alright. Um, so we're not gonna take her into the next battle then. But it's cool that she's here. I'm debating. I need to go. I need to go give a squirrel a funeral. Um. We did do the one battle, and then we had the surprise everything else. So, yeah. Alright, well, sorry to cut this one short. I was planning on doing the the next story battle but um we did get through that one uh, mental battle the uh seize the ship or whatever and um yeah i've i've got to go bury a squirrel so um i'll catch you guys next time for more triangle strategy i was also hoping to make this one a, a longer one and we'll we'll see what happens plum and i were thinking about going out to do karaoke tonight so I don't know if, if she's still in the mood, and I know I've got weekend jobs all over the place, like two tomorrow, two on Sunday. Cutting through brick, mountain flood light cameras, and changing out pendant lights and sconces, and trying to repair a 
can it is a thing. But um yeah, thank you for watching. Um sorry things got kinda weird there during that fight with the, the death of our our uh, adopted squirrel. <laughs> but um it's just weird to say I'm I I'm not laughing at the loss of the squirrel, just the words came out of my mouth and they sounded kind of absurd. Um but yeah, um I guess to make it up, if I have time, I'll try to work the battle in tomorrow, which is Saturday. Uh, either before or after my my job. And whatever we end up doing, I'll, I'll see you guys again then. So have a good one. And um, once again, if you have any electrical questions, let me know. Like, I've um, been doing this for a little bit, so... <laughs> I'm not going to be like, oh, I'll come to your house and fix your shit. But, you know, if you've got a question like, hey, I want to do this switch or, hey, you know, I want like a, a smart dimmer or something like that. Like, I'll be happy to answer. It's a, a good thing to do. Either way, until then, I'll see you guys later. Have a good night. Try to be safe. And, you know, think of our squirrel. <laughs>